You know, I personally believe that someone cannot have too many bikinis. That's just how I feel. website I looked at either the bikini either the bikini was so cute but the top was jank or the top was really cute but the bottom was just ugly so I'm just gonna merge all these different styles I've seen to create my own I got this from Joann's fabric you can go to any fabric store but make sure you get the high performance fabric that could be used for uh, swim attire if you need any help I suggest you just ask someone but if you go to Joann's fabric I don't know if this information will be helpful but I got it from section J which is the high performing fabrics you can tell they're really stretchy I also got coordinating thread I will be using my sewing machine if you don't have a sewing machine, you could use needle and thread manually, fabric glue, or, or, oh my gosh, what's that thing called? What's that thing called? Fabric adhesive. I will leave links in the description box so you could have a preview of the other alternatives and where to purchase them. And that's it. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I used these same techniques from my last bikini tutorial where I outlined my favorite bikini or clothing. This is just a shorter and easier way to the perfect size rather than consistently using measuring tape. I doubled my fabric so it wasn't too thin and transparent. This is optional if you have a different fabric. But then I just sewed the two pieces together. And just a reminder to leave a small hole to flip the fabric inside out before merging them to one piece. Before I go any further, I'll show you my layout. These are all the pieces I'll be working with. Right here, I used a sports bra to outline my bikini top. I decided to cut off one strap because I realized I didn't own a shirt like this, so I made it. Again, if you double your fabric, leave a small opening so when you flip it, it looks seamless. Once that is done, I just merge the front and back pieces together. This was not planned, but Halfway through, I was like, you know what? Instead of sewing the strap together, I felt so spontaneous and added buckles instead so the top wouldn't look so plain. I measured myself for the belt since my waist is smaller and the same technique follows. I sew it, then I flip it. Adding and securing the buckle was fairly simple. I actually mimicked a bag I had, so I just looped the fabric through the ends of the buckles, coiled the fabric to hide the rough edges, and then I secured it. And that is it for this video. I like variety so I can wear this top without the bottoms, adjust the belt wherever I please, or not wear the belt at all.
please don't forget to share and like this video. If you want more tutorials, then subscribe and feel free to comment down below. See you soon.